Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 tools that you can use for RVing. At least these are the top 10 that I like to use. And you know, everyone is going to have their own favorites. The truth is, if you ask 10 people for their top 10 list, you're probably going to get 10 different top 10 lists. But it all will depend in many cases on what kind of RV you have, the complexity that's in that RV, your skill level, and so on. But what I'm going to cover today is a list of the top 10 tools that I find that I reach for most often. And so let's get right into that list. And number one on the list is going to be a cordless drill driver. I mean, you're going to use that that a lot in RVing. And once you have the drill driver, you need to have the drivers and the drill bits to go with it. So it's good to have a nice selection of drill bits and then never be caught short without a nice representation of all kinds of drivers that you can use with it as well. Uh, you're going to see that you'll use this kind of tool very, very often. There's a lot of screws in RVs. It's just the way it is. You're probably going to encounter a wide variety of screws the most uh, of anything else that you're going to be working with. And a cordless drill driver will make it so much easier than having to turn every single screw one way and then the other way. It's, uh, it's just just important to have something that simplifies the difficulty of the task. Now it's not necessary to go really big on this. Uh, you can get something that's very reasonable, it doesn't cost a lot, and it will do the job for you in most cases around your RV. Uh, now you can spend a lot of money on drill drivers, but for the average RVer, uh, just getting a nice quality driver will do the job. Now, number two tool is, okay, you've got your drill driver, but you know what? An, an actual hand drill driver comes in handy too. And you know why? Because uh, the cordless drill driver really puts the power on, you know? And sometimes in these RVs, uh, you don't want to put too much power on those screws or you'll strip them out. So uh, what I like to do is use the drill driver to, for instance, start the screw and, and get it most of the way in and then finish up my hand with the hand tool. And that way I make sure that I'm not over tightening anything. So that would be my, my second choice for a tool. Now the third choice would be a good claw hammer. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things that need hammering on an RV. And boy, you're going to be glad to have a good claw hammer that'll give you a little bit of force in some cases. And, and you also are going to need to nail things in uh, and that kind of thing. So it's it's very important to have something like that. You'll even use it outside, maybe driving stakes down into the ground. It really comes in handy. And the claw, of course, is very useful for removing things. So it's a, a good tool to have. Number four, a good utility knife. Now, I like to get one that has a long blade like this that can be snapped off uh, every uh, little bit here. And that way you have basically a new blade to cut with uh, each time you snap off the old blade. And you will find yourself using that for a variety of things around the RV. There's always something that you've got to cut into or open up and, and so on. So a good utility knife is good. Now, the next tool is a multi-tester. Now, this is really good to have. If you have any kind of electrical problem, well, you're probably going to need to diagnose it using a multi-tester. Uh, it will test all sorts of things. It'll tell you whether a circuit has continuity in it, you know, whether there's a broken uh, section in the circuit. It'll tell you what the volts are in a system, the 
ramps, uh, how much resistance. <clears throat> and by getting those figures and that information, you can diagnose an awful lot of electrical problems in the RV by yourself. So it's a, it's a good one to have. Now the next one may not sound like a tool. You may not think of it as a tool, but boy is it. This is Gorilla Tape or good old fashioned duct tape or whatever you want to use. It's this kind of tape that really sticks and holds on. Yeah, it, this probably will get more use than almost anything else that you're going to use in the RV. I mean, it's surprising how many places you can use duct tape or Gorilla Tape or something along that line for a temporary repair. And if it's out of sight, my, my goodness, why not even just use it for a permanent repair in many cases? It's really good stuff. Very flexible for use on many projects around the RV. Now, we cannot forget to have a good old-fashioned tape measure. Uh, now, I have several different uh, uh, kinds of tape measures or lengths of tape measures. Inside the RV, it's usually not very often that I find anything more than a 10-foot tape measure works well and it's nice and small and fits in my pocket. But if you're outside, uh, I like to get a 25-foot tape measure and I even carry a 50-foot with me too because every now and then it comes in necessary. And there's all sorts of things that need to be measured on an RV, especially if you have some kind of project uh, where you're installing something. Uh, you you need to have a good tape measure and and use it right so it's a very good tool to have now my next one number eight is a good LED flashlight and uh, I like a little small one you know I don't like the really big one so I like something that fits uh, in a little pocket holster that I have but has a really strong light and that's because in the RV you're going to find a ton of places that you've got to look into that's kind of dark and small and cramped and you got to kind of get up in it and look your way around and see what's going on you need a good light and a light that can get in a lot of places as you know it's not big and bulky so this is very important for me now the next uh, tool that I like to use is a ladder oh my that if if I didn't have a ladder I don't know what I would do you know I like to use the aluminum step ladders and, and ladders that are tall enough that when I get up on the top step I can pretty much reach the top of the RV so uh, try to find a ladder along that line the reason why it's good to have an aluminum one is very light uh, the ladder I have is very light I can take it anywhere without any problem set it up easily climb up and I'm working on stuff at the very top of the RV quickly and easily. Now a lot of uh, RVers like to use the folding ladders. The only problem I have with that is they're heavy and uh, they have to be in order to be able to be strong when assembled. But a good old-fashioned aluminum step ladder is light, quick, and easy to use. So I highly recommend it. And finally, number 10 on our list. There's a ton of screws and bolts and all of these manner of fasteners that are used in an RV. And, you know, it's tempting to just grab your adjustable wrench and fit it on the top, but don't do that. You're going to round off the top of uh, whatever you're working on if you do that regularly. So keep a good set of SAE and metric sockets and wrenches. Yes, that's very, very important. Uh, sockets work well in some cases, wrenches work better in other cases. But the point is, have a very good set of a nice representation of sockets and wrenches. Uh, there's different sizes you could choose from depending on how heavy duty the project is. I mean, they come in, uh, sockets come in quarter inch, three eighths, and even half inch. I find that in, as, in general, about three 
3 8 uh, inch works well for a, an all-purpose socket set uh, in the RV. But uh, whatever you choose, just make sure you have one handy so you don't always grab that adjustable wrench. Uh, it's very tempting, I know, because it adjusts to everything, but uh, just do the right thing and protect the tops or the heads of the screws and bolts that you work with. Well, those are the top 10 tools on my list. Now, let me emphasize once again, this is not the end of what you need in an RV. Oh my goodness. No, there's a lot more tools. I just went down the top 10, and you probably have a lot of these already. And if you do, that's great. Just take them with you. But the important point is, have these ready, have them available, because for me, they're what I use over and over and over again. Have them in a compartment where they're quick to get to, they're easy to access, and uh, that way you won't be uh, frustrated or aggravated in having to go find them every time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that information, and if you did, would you like the video? Because YouTube likes it when you like the video. We'd also like to hear your comments, and let me tell you, I know you probably have a lot to add on this, because we all have our favorite tools. So if you do, just add them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from what you had to say. And we'd love to have you visit our website. It's at rvinspectionandcare.com. Uh, there's a lot of information there that you won't even find here on YouTube. So please visit there and sign up for our newsletter. And that way you'll be on the list and receive all the latest information. Finally, I'd love to have you as part of our online family. And to do that, just hit that subscribe button. And that way you won't be missing any videos that I'm putting out now on a twice weekly basis. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.